Hi again, it's Chrissy here with your third portion of the self-esteem brief. I'm here on this section to bring you the Johari window, which I think is really helpful to understanding more about yourself and more about understanding how you communicate with those around you, which can be really helpful in team building as well. So if you have the team building brief, this might be good to, um, to pair with it. Now, this is a concept that I just wanna to bring to you. I don't want anybody to be kind of yelling out or psychoanalyzing anybody else. That's not the purpose of this. This is just to kind of understand a little bit more about you and self-acceptance, which is important in self-esteem, okay? So this is a concept um, that was brought about by um, two researchers and they wanted to kind of give a model that showed what happens when we understand our interpersonal and interpersonal relationships. So this area right here is called the open area. This, these are concepts that are known by myself and also by other people around me. Like for example, I have on a yellow shirt. You can see that, I can see that, we probably all agree that this is a yellow color unless you need to get your colors fixed on your projector or if I have anybody who's colorblind. But other than that, we can probably all agree I have on a yellow shirt with some white flowers on it and you know that as well, okay? So this is an open area known by others and known by myself. This area right here is a blind area. So this is unknown by myself, by me personally, but known by others. Okay, so one of those might be something to the effect of, I have this nice bleached hair down here, that's one color, um, my pre-coronavirus hair, but I have a lot of roots peeking in that are a different color. And that is seen by others around me, but I might not be accepting that. Or I might assume that a way that I speak to others is respectful and um, assertive, but other people might see that as aggressive and off-putting, these kind of things. So this would be a blind area to yourself, unknown by you, but known by other people. This area down here would be things that you have not disclosed to anyone. So things that are known by you, but other people don't know. Okay, so this might be, hey, I have an issue with um, people acting in a certain way because it reminds me of a bad experience I had in my past. Or I can't technically go and engage in an activity um, with these people because I have something that I don't want other people to know and that opens up uh, cans of worms for me. So um, this is the hidden area people don't understand about me. Um, and this area here is kind of a wash because this is stuff that I don't know and stuff that other people don't know. Now the idea here is that to have better relationships with your team, this area needs to expand to where you have more that you understand about yourself and more that other people understand about you. So the way we build this open area is by asking for feedback. So that would mean if I have an altercation or you feel like a situation is getting shaky, you can ask people, um, hey, did you feel this way or that way or the other? Or how did, what was your feelings on when this happened? Or asking people um, after a situation happens, what are your thoughts about this? If you have a very strong opinion on a project or a rule, you can ask for general feedback if you want to expand this window. Now, the other way that we understand more about our hidden area is through self-disclosure. Now, some people are really good about self-disclosure and they'll use it um, during times where it's not necessary. But if you want to build a connection and a bond with people, you will need to, sell, to tell people more about who you are as a person, more about your values, maybe about your past, maybe about one of the things that you care about in life, the things that drive you forward. Allowing people to understand those things about you will expand their hidden area and create some more understanding. Like I can be more accepting of people um, maybe that don't have the same life situation I have if they let me know that. If they never let me know that, I can't adhere to that. I can't understand that about them. This one here is unknown area. You can actually get that, un uh, that unknown area sh uh, opened if we continue sharing in both areas. So 
This is an interesting concept, but it, I think it really drives home also the questions that we sometimes have with like, how do I make a friend as an adult? Or how, if I've moved to a new place, like I'm a new spouse in a new PCS area, how do I get to the point where I feel like I have solid relationships with people that I can, um, can relate to and people that I can trust and people that um, will make me have a sense of feeling at home? And this is really important in that. So Johari Window, the six pillars of self-esteem. I think these are two really good concepts that you could use to uh, drive forward any questions that you might have. Um, we're looking forward to seeing all of our clients in person when this uh, whole pandemic is over. Um, please reach out to us. Let us know if these videos have been useful um, or if there's anything that you would like to see in any future offerings. Um, everybody take care and we'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks. Bye.